Is the tow twig respond? Nope. Guess I was in sleep mode. All right, we're back. We've got some more Pokemon in store. And I need to make it bigger because it is very small on my screen. I barely got any sleep because someone attacked me in his dreams. I, we, there was a man in our house that wasn't supposed to be there. And when I jumped for the man, I jumped for the shell. In real life. In real life. <laughs> Except uh, it results in a punch to my back. I'm apparently. so sorry. So You've now, just been waiting for us to record so you can immortalize my uh, fragmenting wander, wander acts grip out on in reality. His sleep. Yeah. Oh yeah. You ever you ever get that like feeling of dropping right before you um like right before bed or something? Mm -hmm. Like I have that relentlessly. Oh, it is the Pokemon that we started with. Well, that's fine actually oh oh no there's a ghastly as well yeah i think i should be fine oh actually that graveler is kind of tough this might hurt a bit yeah, not overwhelmingly so i've been busy i know a number of people have asked if i'm going to show the grinding and the answer is no what we're going to do is we're going to explore every zone but i don't think i'm actually going to include a whole lot of the outright grinding catch some Pokemon along the way, but yeah, hopefully we'll, I, I definitely want to go back for that Gyarados. Yeah. Because now we have the Sky Balls. We do. We actually have the, uh, the upgraded version. An upgraded version of the yeah, Sky Balls? Yeah, I think it's just more effective. Oh, I forgot how much I like the music in this area. Mm -hmm. I've been playing this game without the music. Okay. Uh, this is going to do. Oh, right. Okay. So, the other thing I need to address is people asking me to evolve my Pokemon. I'm specifically not doing that because I'm waiting for, uh, waiting to fill out the Pokedex. Now, I realize it does say research level 10 complete, but if you hundo one of these, you're more likely to run into a shiny. If you hundo everything, you get way more shinies. I don't actually know how much I care is for Is it only shinies, shinies for the particular Pokemon that you yes and no. get all the stats for? Okay. Um, so specifically, you get a higher chance if you've completed Hundo for like that specific Pokemon. Oh. But then if you complete all of them, it's even higher. You get like the shiny charm or something. Ah, interesting. Yeah, so I'm going to very quickly mess with the team a little bit. I've got an Infernape that I don't think we need at the moment. Uh, namely, he's my grind man. Uh, we have a whisk cash that I don't need. I got a little against, but I'm not big on them. Uh, is so little against has a Hisuian version that is kind of more of a martial artist. I don't remember what regular little against is, but this one is grass fighting, which is neat. Except for I don't, I'm not a big fan of the yellow booties. I know it's supposed to be stamen, I believe, or like you know the little pollen things at the end of the. Uh Oh, you're right. I can see that now. Yeah, but they look a little silly to me. It's a decent Pokemon, but, uh, well, I don't know. We have to decide, because I've also been catching some Turtwigs. Ooh, Turtwig. I thought uh, you said that was one of your favorites. I like Turtwig. So, higher defense, lower speed, or higher attack, lower speed. It seems like, yeah, both of them... And sacrifice speed for something else. Yeah. The odd part is... I mean, speed's kind of fine on Turtwig. Turtwig being a slow Pokemon to begin with. You might just want to focus on it being kind of tanky. Uh, and just... Doing whatever. So, the main question is... Let me check its moves. I don't know if Turtwig is a physical attacker to begin with. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? More damage or more defense? Mm. Well, I mean, I know that the saying is, <laughs> what what is it? A offense is the best defense. Uh, the best offense is a good defense, but the well, best defense is a good offense. Like, they are interchangeable. Well, no, 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 no. It's just that if you can end the battle more swiftly with better attack stats, then... That's I fair. mean, I suppose it depends on how long you want to prolong. So maybe if you do have a slower Pokemon, then you'd want to have higher defense, but... I will say it does look like T Turtwig is a physical attacker. 
uh, just baseline. Mm. So I think we'll we'll go for the aggressive one because it seems to have a decent defense anyway, especially as turtle. And I'm not big on Weavile. So I'm going to swap that one out. Hopefully we'll be able to find more ice Pokemon elsewhere. And I'm going to evolve on mountain. Wamble because people, people really wanted me to evolve Wamble. Oh, they want to see what the shiny yeah. looks like? Yeah. And I'm going to... Oh, is this... Was this one of the good uh, Scythers? Because apparently you can evolve uh, Pokemon without trading in this one. So, water type, we're going to go with Gastrodon because Gastrodon is, I think, my favorite Pokemon. Uh, what? Really? I really like Gastrodon. But They're... do you like the brown and pink Gastrodon or do you like the green I'm and indifferent. Blue? I just like its face. <laughs> uh, Quilava, which will evolve soon into Fire Ghost. Scyther, which will... We could either upgrade into the... Uh, the, the new one? Yeah, the new one. So we could either go for a scissor or we could go for... Uh, I don't know. I, I still love scissor I love and scissor. scissor has steel. So yeah. mm. I guess we'll end up with two ground types as part of this. Wamble, I'm not actually passionate about. Uh, I'm just keeping for the time being. And I'm going to grab this Ralts, who is a male, but whatever. Technically, we do have this other Ralts. Which... Wow, you have a ton of petals. Yeah, point. I was trying to get the right uh, stats distribution. What is this one? Nope. That's bad. Uh, let's see. What oh, else have I caught? Oh, you have a Snorlax, caught? and you got the little Sidowido yeah. evolution. I caught a Snorlax. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he is not fancy. Uh, I got a bunch of Togepies. Oh, I did catch the uh, Hippo down. Oh wow, the the big one. Yeah, we also have an Ursa ring. I don't really feel like. Look, do you have a Tangrowth? That. It looks like you do. Yeah, yeah, I caught that big Tangrowth. I I've just been hucking balls at things like. Uh, oh yeah, you've got a couple unknowns. Oh yeah, a uh, bunch of unknowns. Oh, you got some more Flareons. Yeah, uh, one of the one of the events had like a bunch of them, and I was like, yeah. Also caught a Togetic, which is flying around up above. Yep. I realize there's a lot of these that I probably could have shown, but like cripes. I, I've oh yeah, been playing Heracross. This for a lot. Yeah, so we've got things, but it's fine. And you still have Big Doof? Yeah, I do have Big Doof. Big Doof is here. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do anything. I might evolve it into a Babarl just for the heck of it, but... Ah, uh, but no, you like Big Doof. It's true. I just... If Babarls had Bidoof eyes, I would have no, no quarrel. Mm -hmm. But they don't, and it makes me sad and mad. And you have an Umbreon as well. Yeah. I think those are the only two evolutions I've gotten so far. Uh, is there anything else? I'm just trying to figure out if I want to go for a different team comp than this. But this happens to me with Pokemon. I crystallize oh, around a couple. Oh, you have the Lickitung. And... Wait a minute. Didn't we have to show the cherry to someone? Uh, yes. But I think we have to finish its... Or maybe not. Maybe we do just have to show it to him. But we can show it to him whenever. It's so cute. Cherub uh, Cherubi is really cute, yeah. But they do have a a twin kind of hanging off the other. <laughs> that just dies when it evolves. Uh huh. I I want to say it has. It's one of those with the dark Pokedex entry that you're like. Mm hmm. Right. It, I wonder if it's one of those things where it eats the other one or something like that. Or it, or it like dies on the vine. I could be quite wrong. Because wasn't there the executor or execute to executor one where you wonder why they only have three heads? <laughs> what happens to all the other ones? Well, I mean, some of the other ones oh, are Oh, look, it has blue eyes. And it's brown. Oh. Yeah, I'll fill out its Pokedex entry later. Let's, let's see what Max... I mean, I assume... Hopefully purple like the Wurmple was. Yeah, kind of purple and blue and gold. That's an interesting color combination. Yeah. It's not bad. Bug flying? Yeah. Well, with the flying added to it, Bug would normally be weak to flying, right? Uh, yeah. What is this one? High speed, lower defense. It's okay. I don't know. I think Wamble is more of kind of just a set piece than an actually good Pokemon. But we do have two, two beautifuls. 
I'm probably gonna put it away and evolve, work on evolving something else. Also, apparently Crow Gunk is poison fighting. I don't know why I thought they were poison dark. Hmm. What did I originally say? Uh, I forget. I, yeah, I don't know. I think I just said it was like, oh, I don't, uh, I don't want to fight it. It's poison dark. I think I might have had a psychic type at the time, and that was wrong. So what are we <laughs> missing? We've got water, we got fire, we've got grass. We've got bug flying, we've got psychic fairy. Hmm. Yeah, this is the problem I always get stuck on. It's like, oh, how do I fill it out? Let's catch Gyarados. That's another water type, but sure. I know, but I want to catch Gyarados. Let's go catch Gyarados. What's up, Professor? Can see you caught nine Pokemon. Sure. Get me out of here. I have a lot of money. We should probably go buy some bags, bag space, too. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's because I caught three alphas. Go figure. I've actually just made a habit of trying to catch the alphas just so they're not, um... They're not in my way. Just to get, uh, get them gone. Oh! Right, we're gonna go catch Gyarados. Alright. Mm -hmm. I got, I'm just gonna warp his head for that one. Okay. So we're looking for the waterfall. Yes, Obsidian Falls, probably. Uh, ah, over here. Yeah, this this seems about right. Mm -hmm. If I do pin stamp flag. There we go. Now I know where to go. Yeah. Oh, look at all the drift looms at at night. Yep. yep. Let's see. So I wonder how... Di I don't remember the Tokvitek being that difficult to capture. No. I... The Gyarados might be a little harder, but not by much. Oh. Yeah, you're using Church Big. Yep. Forget I get a little bit of EXP, but also, uh, whenever you have a rock shaking like this, you get more resources out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, there's not much I'm going to necessarily stop for, maybe. But I will absolutely stop for bonus resources, because I burn a lot of Pokeballs just doing what I'm doing. And there's that crit dust. Yeah, so that's that's how you get uh, bonus stats. Mm. So normally in Pokemon, when you fight another Pokemon, you get a small bonus to your stats. That's like kind of not shown. Oh, there's a flame up there to the right. Yep. We'll get it when we get there. Maybe the Gyarados only comes out. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, he's closest over it there, but let's... Let's get the flame. Yeah. Get a couple of things as we go by. I still wish it was an interesting side quest. Yeah. I mean, I mean plot relevant side quests. I want to play more games where there's no main plot, it's all side quest, but they form a cohesive narrative. Mm -hmm. And so you can kind of tackle it in whatever way you want. Oh, yep. There's another wriggling crystal. Yep. Sorry. Small amounts of chores and things, but not too much. All right. I'm not here to catch Gyarados. Beat up on Geo, dude. Okay. So maybe they're more along that ledge. Yeah, it looks like he gets really, really close to this ridge over here. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, because there's the waterfall. Is that the closest he gets? Mm, no. Yeah, I thought he got really close earlier. Yeah, let's just watch. Unless, did he change his flight pattern so now he's closer to that ridge? I, we were just on that ridge. Oh, does he do a figure eight? Or, no. No, he's going around inside. Wait, why did it seem like he was closer? Maybe it's a day-night thing. Um, or maybe we're just... Is Actually, no, he's just really small. Really? Comparatively. Well then. Uh good luck. Just get it, get him on the straightaway. Uh, 
Uh, Got a lot of these. <laughs> and you said they were upgraded. Do they fly farther? Uh, you know. Nope, that's not it. Do I have the upgraded version in hand? No. Can I make it? Yes. Ah, uh, does it fly farther? Or is it just the equivalent of a great ball? Possibly. Which you might need anyway for Gyarados. Yeah, I got the Togetic with just a regular one. But it was so also we'll much see. closer. Uh, a little late. You might want to put it a little bit more to the left and then... We'll see. I mean, worse comes to worse. I can go get more pretty easily. Aww. Well, more to the left. No, no, no. Like, if if it... The thing is, beforehand, you're always a little late on the ball getting to it. So by the time you threw it, it would have actually slipped off to the left rather than been to the right. Wait, what? Oh, it hit him. It sounded like it hit him. I I think we have to hit him when he's at his closest. Too far and his, it loses potency. Mm-hmm. It was a little tacky. Oh, damn it. Like, maybe now? Too oh, high. Oh, too high. And the problem is he's also doing that undulating... Here, I'm going to switch to the feather balls for the time motion. being. Okay, sure. Or Just to see if you can hit him. Bat. I'm going to save. Because he ah. might just, he might bail. And the other thing is we could just catch a Magikarp and evolve a Gyarados from that. It'd be kind of neat if it was a red Gyarados, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Well, then. Well. We'll catch him eventually. Round and round he goes. God, that waterfall looks terrible. <laughs> like, I love this game. Oh! Oh, please. Yes. Got it. It's level 26. He's only huh. level 26. Well, that was underwhelming. We got it, though. I'll have to keep an eye out for some other uh, flying Pokemon. I know we get a, a flying mount of our own fairly fairly soon. A flying mount? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's a Braviary. I think we get a water mount first, though. I don't know. I, I wish with this game... Ah... It's tough, because you can overlevel really quickly, but I really wish you could actually use your own Pokemon to move around. But alas, we're trying to the village. I mean, really, I don't want to go to the village. I want to go to another region, but unfortunately... Well, you want to go back to the Crimson Lands, right? Yeah, because we, we have to go find the uh, the missing diamond member. Mm. Which, technically, I already found, but luckily, it didn't matter. Well, right, it's that one girl. Mm-hmm. That was poking around that people suspect may have been behind. Yeah, so you're supposed to follow your scent. But I was just wandering aimlessly, uh, catching and fighting. And then, what do you know? There she was. Oh, right. We were supposed to use Ursaring. Or, the, no, the Ur Lu Ursa Luna. Ur Ursa Luna, correct. In the new form that they have. Found a heavy Psyduck. Multiple heavy side X. Sweet. Okay, I should probably focus. <laughs> I just but catching. Nope, not that one. Oh. Holy crap, that thing Psyduck. can see for days. Psyduck doesn't even know what happens. Ay ay ay. It just does not care. It knows. It just apathy has it looked like it taken had gone a hold of its soul. Cross-eyed when you hit it in the face. <laughs> As expected. I mean, you did get it right between the eyes. Anyway, yeah, I was just aimlessly wandering, and here she is. Is she just hanging out, or does she has she sprained an ankle? Uh, you know, honestly, I can't tell. Boy, I'm glad I didn't walk closer to her. Mhm. Mm oh, hero. How did it all go with Ursa Luna? I helped him. Thanks, 
a bunch, fella. But how do you find me all the way out here? From the potato mochi. What? You followed the scent of the potato mochi I bought at the Wallflower? Man, I wish I could eat some more of those right now. Jubilee Village, sir, has a lot of fun. My luck's run out, though. As you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Ah, are you there, Rezu? Right? Or oh, there you are. Sorry. You're reading a little too fast. Sorry. Eek! Mr. Scalaba, uh, I... I didn't... Uh, I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Huh? Wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzied, nor that my Ursaluna was so enraged. You were... Trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. It's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. I'm confused. I thought she was evil. Mm hmm. Ursula only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligant and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. Ah, that explains the strange powder I found on Ursaluna. It must have been powder from Lilligand. But what happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make bombs, and I... I fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help from Ursaluna, and also learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Pro Professor Laventon, and to he told me th the bombs you- Oh, okay, sorry. To you That's gotta right. slow down just a little bit. You were going fast today. Sorry. And he told me about the bombs. You- And the problem is, there, I need yeah. the next sentence to know what she says next. He used to quell Cleavor. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligant using her favorite foods. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you. Really. Well then, we'd better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Adaman! What were you thinking, doing all this yourself? Did you, did you think I couldn't help you? Though, no one would blame you for thinking so. How much of a leader am I? I've never even seen Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes. I fail to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied, too. Listen up, hero. I'll take the bombs that Rezu made and meet you at Bravo Arena. Don't you worry, Rezu. Hero will calm Lilligant, and that will be that. Things should settle down. Head to Bravo Arena, hero. That's where Lilligant's seat lies. Rezu will be taken care of. My dear Bibarel and I will make sure that she reaches her lady. Oh, man. You know how I want to do that art game? Hmm. How would you feel about redrawing Pokemon slightly to fix their glaring problems? <laughs> I don't know. Glaring, soulless <laughs> problems. I mean, one let, thing, one thing I would do is I would definitely fix the Dragonair and Dratini. Yeah. You know, oh, Dratini, that... Dragonair to Dragonite. Yep. Because, mm -hmm. like, Bidoof. Small, cute, fluffy, happy. Cute beard, and just, you know, it looks like it's happy about the future. It has expectations, hopes, and dreams, and oh. then this happens. It's see, it seen those <laughs> hopes and dreams realized, and it wish it hadn't. <laughs> oh, the little animation I showed you that the Pokemon Company made for Bidoof's it was, it was just so, so cute. cute. Like, Bidoof, unironically, is one of my favorite Pokemon, but Barl is... Also, unironically, one of my least favorite Pokemon. And the swing on that just makes me so grumpy. I wouldn't be surprised if they hadn't 
put out Everstones in what wasn't it in silver and gold that they had released Everstones or something like that. Well, so that you could choose not to evolve one of your Pokemon if you wanted to pr preserve them in their natural state. Oh, you know what? Before we do this, I'm gonna grab this crystal quick. I want to evolve Kalava. Oh boy. Oh boy. How many entries do you have for Kalava? I, do you have the 10? Uh, well, this is going to be dicey. We'll see how this goes. Oh wow, is it four on one? Yup. Stun sport. We might just have to run. I mean, the Paris don't seem to be attacking. Well, well they the seem to be didn't. mostly focused on Sun Spore. Which, by the way, the uh, the new status effects in this are actually quite nice. Because uh, instead of sleep, there's drowsy, which is kind of the same as paralyze. Which um, means it's considerably less problematic than it used to be. I'm so you're not? I, well, I remember it was always you fell asleep for about three turns, right? Uh, something like that. But so now, like, rest is actually a really good move because there's no, like, inherent risk to it. Mm. There is a risk, but it's not as, like, powerful. You used to have to bet on being asleep for three turns. Yup. And hopefully you would have... What was it? Snore. There, there's Snore. Snore is the one that you could use to heal yourself. I suppose if you had a ghost type, you would use dream eater on an opponent that was in the yeah. midst of sleeping yeah so you'd have to hope that your opponent doesn't have dream eater that too if you were using rest i'd be curious to see how many new attacks they've added to the game since the very beginning because there are a number of moves that have remained the same and then there are ones that have been boosted and adjusted as time goes on. You know? Yeah. I There's a lot of duplicate moves that have been added. Moves wow. that are very similar. How did you notice me from behind this rock? I guess it probably smelled me. No. You can feel Holy your heart. Holy that's actually a tougher dirt. Rhyhorn than I was expecting it would be. High horsepower. Ow. Whoa. I mean... You're at 39. 45 isn't terrible, but I, I've noticed that it's been more difficult to beat Pokemon in this game. Sort of. Well then. Sort of. Do you want to defeat or do you want to capture? Kill it. I've already got plenty of Rhyhorn, so I'll catch it later. I'm doing this purely for EXP, because Alphas are worth a lot. I was hoping they'd just catch it. You also get EXP candy and a couple other things, which are kind of handy. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking I'd leave that but for later. Can you look at Kalava's stats? Sure, that's a good point. Or at least the scorecard. Er, oh, I have to find it. Oh, I see. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, it's ordered by research level chronologically. There's no easy way to sort this. Oh, wow. Okay, Kalava. Maybe evolve my. Yeah, I think maybe you should do it in the Pokedex order because then oh, yeah. Cyndaquil will be closer to the beginning. That makes sense. The lava. Yeah, there you go. So you do have the you do have the Pokeball. Yeah, so, so I do. It, have, it depends I, on if you want to. Yeah, it's the question of if I want to catch uh do more because it would be six more embers, fifteen more quick attacks, and I'd have to do. I mean, honestly, I you might as well. You also haven't caught more. Yeah, but I can get the rest done. So do you want to evolve Kalava? Uh, it's not actually ready to evolve yet. Oh, no, really? Oh, it needs a couple more levels, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it? a 36. Turtwig's eh. ready to evolve. Oh. Honestly, I think I'm going to do a lot of those Pokedex entry things later, or just kind of not care. Um, I'm torn. It's better to do them during grind. And yeah. because you're encouraged to catch so many, yeah. you might so, as well have one that you're using in combat and then ones that are you're using for the I'm grind. I'm just kind of hoping I can get a full... Uh, oh, it's cute. It's cute. Grottle. I don't like Grottle quite as much. Uh, we should change some names. 
Because we haven't actually nicknamed even our Quilava. I mean... I, I'd like to name him something like Bonsai. Because doesn't he end up having a Bonsai tree on his back? Sure, but I wanted to call him Dirtle. What? Okay... It's a play on Squirtle. But yeah. Dirt. True. Oh, and we're gonna we're gonna change the Kulava. He was gonna be sleepy. Well, Why did they give us the opportunity to nickname them? Hey, 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 we shouldn't call him sleepy yet until he actually appears sleepy. Yeah, he's just sleepy. No. <laughs> Sluggy. Sluggy, no. But now we have Sluggy and Sleepy and Dirtle. This is... I, I don't like your naming conventions. Wait, you're naming the Gyarados? Yeah. No. Fishbird? No. Fishbird. No, not with a question mark. Wonder, please. <laughs> with great power comes great responsibility. It's also a really trash fish bird. Like, we're getting rid of this sucker when we get the chance. Why? Because he, I thought he had higher special no. attack, lower yeah, attack. Yeah, which is bad. Gyarados is a physical attacker. Really? Yeah. Mm. It's like exactly what you don't want on a Gyarados. I still think it's such a shame, the whole... I mean, I understand why people like it for breeding and for raising the whole what was it RVIV system or what was oh it yeah 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 but I wish you could just choose I just remember I, I would just love it if you leveled up and when you leveled up you chose a stat you wanted to put points in like any other role playing game yeah I've seen that in one or two others I, I know Koromon has that which is coming out kind of soon. I because I just hate the idea shot. of catching a Pokemon and saying, well, this one's your, trash. your stat growth isn't good. Throw you away forever. And it's just, uh, I feel bad. I feel like it should be when they gain experience, you choose where that experience goes to towards. Or maybe it's completely determined by how they battle. Let's feel bad for Waltz's design. Well, they left. It was supposed to come up here, right? Oh, wait, what? I suppose the seat no. for Lilligant is elsewhere. Yeah. I don't understand. Is Lickitung supposed to be, the evolved form supposed to be yeah. wearing a bib? Uh, oh, maybe it is. Also, can you do anything with those leaf piles? Yes. I can. Because there is a leaf pile over there. I've been spotted. Can I see what happens to the leaf pile? Uh, it looks like he got me some beans. Yeah, but I want to see what he does to it. Yeah, just find stuff beneath. Interesting. Yep. There's a lot of different things. This is why I've been squandering all of my all of our money on inventory space. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, there's a lot of different items. Whoa, that's the evolved form of the Rosalia. It yeah, it is. Oh, it's raining. Yeah. We did comment on wishing there was weather. Now there is. So I there wonder is. then if... Could you use things like Rain Dance on Sunny Day? Or is it that they kind of forgo having those in the game at all so that you can... That it's purely based on the actual weather. You can't manipulate it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't seen any of the classic weather boosting moves. They tended to be for higher levels anyway. Uh oh. Looks like they're wearing a cape. No berry for you. This is a stinky berry. Nope. They escaped. And they've seen you. 
battle. Ooh, it's a level 50. Whoa. Roserade. <gasps> no. Did you, you didn't heal them up, did you? I did. But here's the thing. Bye. I suppose that's one way to run away. I love running in this. It is so much less problematic than it used to be. I've got a reasonable amount of healing items. Mm -hmm. I'll probably have to start buying them because I have more money than time. Full of men. That part's not intentional. Ooh, I want to check this area real quick. Because I haven't been up here before. There might be something interesting on the other side. I mean, there's the crickets. Yeah, I'm looking for something a little bit more. Like the tops and tunes. Ah, so you've been starting to employ strong and swift style? Yeah, a little bit. Not too much. Um, so specifically in this case, I want to do it because uh, I have to use Ember 15 times and strong style and agile style 15 times. For Quilava. I, mm. I think I will hold off on evolving my Quilava. It does look neat. Oh, I know. I love Quilava. Um. Oh, which speaking of, I need to change its moves around. Change moves. Quick attack for Swift. I wonder how tall Typhlosion is. Don't know. I think I remember when I was young going, hey, I'm the same height as him. And... That would actually be really neat if it was somewhat to scale. It's over here. I would think the Pokemon are to scale in this now that they're just, actually in the same environment as your character. I just hope Whalmer is hilariously huge. I, I mm hmm And Waylord. I thought I saw a red glow on... Or no, no, those are leaves. Never mind. Huh. There's nothing, at least at the moment. Maybe it's a nighttime thing or a uh, fishing spot? I don't, I don't Could know. Could be a fishing spot. All right. That looks like the path up to the seat. Yep. So you've come, I take it. Take it, uh, take it, that means you're ready. Yup. Lady Lilligan's a sight to see, even, her, even in her frenzy. Behold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. All it took was one of my poultices to get to Rezu's leg all patched up. I don't know how that works, considering she <laughs> twisted her ankle. It's... Yeah. Well. Kalaba, man, I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help for so much. Especially as we're from different plans. Avezu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she's a bit off more than she could chew and cause some trouble. But her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant, is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokémon and prove your might. Don't let me down. I just need to find a tree. <laughs> watch it have no cover. Just a large dancing arena. Nope, I see pillars. Or, no, large dancing arena, you're right. Time for Dark Souls. the transition from the pageantry to the rat. Okay, when you dodge, you're invulnerable. Cool. Yep, and it is a big flat arena. Oh, look at that AoE. And the problem is, you have to stay fairly close. But you don't want to be in that Smacking radius. Ah, 
Nah, it's fine. I play Dark Souls. <laughs> Ah, uh, the timing has to be fairly exact. Fortunately, you can recover your stamina. Oh, look at that wave. Oh. It was a slow wave. You have to dodge through it. Oh, red note or orange notes? New pattern. Ah, and a wave. the green notes. Is this a new attack? Or nope. the same one? I think you should, yeah, use that as an opportunity to put poultices down. I was hoping to just kind of chill and get some HP back. Ah, she made herself dizzy. Yep. Come on, a couple more. Oh. Well, the problem is if I'm in the throwing animation, I can't dodge. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So don't don't encourage me to take too many risks here. Dude. Nope. Oh, I thought that you were the one that was going to get defeated, but I suppose it must have done just enough damage. I just had to wait for her animation to go. I could send in my Pokemon, but then she'd faint them and then I don't get the EXP. Whereas alternatively, I'm mostly good at dodging. You received the metal plate from Lilligant. Yep, the essence of plants. The essence of plant. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lilligant, you saved a Rezu and a, a Rezu as well. I appreciate it. First Ursaluna, now Lilligant. You're amazing. You know that? Being all frenzy didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy that she's back to her graceful self. Rezu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Solacian Ruins. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're teachings of the almighty Sinnoh himself. Well, itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arezu. You're a warden. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Kalaba wrapped all that up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arezu. I know you you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me, agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe put some uh put in some training. If anything happens to Lilligant, I need you to be ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Myelin safe, Arezu. I'll be sure to inform Irida that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save Ursaluna. You did well, hero. 
all our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit, it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I be on my way. Listen, you know me, I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't fear, live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live, uh, help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Hero. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. What happened, Lilligant? How'd a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though, it's not like I'm perfect. I had things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. Lady. <laughs> Just spin punts her off the plot platform. I like that animation of your character looking up at the sky and holding out a hand. I didn't even notice it. Yeah, I think it was when... Oh, a little bit chilly, too. I like the idle animation, though. That's nice. And you can tell there's a little bit of a sheen, too. Yeah, the, wa the water. Trying to rub off the water. Well, now it's all clear. I just... I'm appreciating the, uh... Animations, where are we going? Oh, actually, we're just leaving. Go back to the Komodo dragon and tell him that things happened. <laughs> Komodo? You're a real wonder. That's a light to sparing into the space-time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon, but you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. I'm still waiting for him to turn out to be evil. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> just more Psyducks. I think we gotta go release some Pokemon. Maybe I'll do that between episodes. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it seems like you've made some observations. Let's have a look. Oh, right. It's the same. I made some points. Oh, you well little again. Smashing. Let's head back to the village then. The commander will be wanting a report. And why am I all tired all of a sudden? I slept well, unlike a certain somebody that I just tackled. <laughs> hmm. Found her by the scent of my uh, fi found her by the scent of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. I miss mochi. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come for dinner later, outsider. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report? No meal can wait. <laughs> I miss mochi too. Yeah, a nice red bean mochi. Yeah. Or there is that. Really scrumptious, cheese-filled, kind of honey-laden mochi. Oh, where were, where did we get those? To Azure. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. We it, could, we it's could go there today if it's, we wanted to. Eh, it might be a little late, though. Would you say it's a Japanese bakery, but it has a French name? Oh, uh, yeah. Supposed to be in, or it's supposed to be in Vietnamese places. So I, I know thought it was Viet Korean. What? Was it? I, I don't know, because... Because I've seen Dula Jour specifically in H Mart, which is usually more of a Korean. Mm. Well, no. Hmm. I'll look it up. So you successfully calmed Lilligant. It's hard for me to look things up while I'm also voice acting. Excellent. I mean, you don't need to, but yeah, they have they have some good pastries. Dula Jour Bakery Company, South Korean bakery franchise. Interesting. Yep. But with the French name, I always get so confused. Yeah, French Asian inspired bakery. There may 
may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is, oh right, but it's all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time, then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from the very same rift. But you have no connection to lightning, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impunging. Impunging? Impunging? Impugning. Impugning. I actually I don't know how to pronounce that one. It's not one you heard. It's it's not something you hear s said aloud at all, really. I've heard impugning. It's probably impugning. Yeah, impugning. That's what I was thinking. There you go. Piping hot potato mochi fresh from the stove. Mm, I wonder what a potato mochi would be like. Don't know. Now this is life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With all our research, oh, with our research? Or with carving out a life here? Ah, uh, well, here's a flashy new recipe to try, Hero. It's for an item that should help scatter these gloomy thoughts. Scatterbang. Huh. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my girl. A wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. I want to bring my microphone down a little bit more. I have started to slide out of my chair a little, and it is pleasant. Morning, sleepyhead. You'll never guess what. I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser shop. Oh, with the with the older hairdresser lady. Yep. That makes sense. Now you'll be able to try out my original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still gonna be Lilligan's warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. Well, new hairstyles? Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Hero. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. But, Mr. Kamado, sir. Uh, so, about that whole Ursaluna situation? Eh, whatever. If you're to work here in Jubilee Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Urezu. And you, hero, are exiled. <laughs> you will come with me. To Prelude Beach! We've built a trebuchet and we're gonna fling you at the rift. <laughs> Send you back from whence you came. Be gone, demon! I wanted a new hairstyle. You could have waited. These I still love all the ombre clo clothing. Ombre. Yeah. It's just, it's really neat. I like that purple on his coat, the lavender. Yeah. <laughs> I I like imagining he has really short arms that are sticking back through his sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> he just can't do it. These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilife Village. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard a great deal about the Galaxy Team- wait, heard the Galaxy knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Hero here. One of our Survey Corps recruits. Though th through the combined efforts of all of our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in Hisui region. 
We look forward to doing our part, Commander. And the advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Hero, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? No. <laughs> what? You're not really going to say that, are you? That'd be terrible. All, all of your Pokemon would roll over in their balls. <laughs> Instantly escape. You say no and then, then the pastures explode. <laughs> Hmm. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in Galaxy Team, and yet you still find love for those creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. Commander, Irida from the Pearls Clan's arrived. Good, I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Hero, you should see for yourself how Jubilife Village is changing things to the Survey Corps' uh, work. Then you will come up to my office. I'd actually be kind of neat if the village, like, does change mm. when we get back there. Like, it's got cosmetic or even major changes. Mm hmm. God, the terrain in this game almost is kind of okay, but then it's not. Like, I love the hills in the background, but it all still looks like mud. I really like the shading on the deciduous trees. Yeah, just not the coniferous ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. We're going this direction. It is so... I I don't know. I'm going to be calling attention to these things kind of randomly well, because... Well, because if you notice on those yellow deciduous trees, yeah, it just has the violet Yeah, underneath. it's got a nice, like, purple shader on the bottom. I, it's just... I mean, there seems to be purple shaders all around. Yeah, I, it's like so much of this game is almost fantastic. I hope they make a sequel that's like better. Mm -hmm. Cause boy, if they did, I don't see any major tangible changes, which is on. Uh, well, you might want to gather no, something that wasn't from there. the farm field. Oh yeah, look. This was only partly in progress. So they are building new homes. Because that actually would have been would be kind of a really cool thing. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time. I gotta go back to it at some point. Oh, are those the? Yeah, it's the Bidoofs. Oof, Oof. Doof. Oof. Um, one of my favorite games of all time that I should go back and play at some point is Digimon World One, where as you're exploring the world, you're finding. I'm not gonna call them named Digimon, but like special variants. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like you find a Birdramon, and the Birdramon comes back to town and unlocks fast travel for you. You find, find like a Betamon and it it's the shopkeeper. You find a Centaurumon and it becomes the, the town doctor. And so every Pokemon or every Digimon you bring back to oh, town. Oh, there's also the hairdresser. Yeah, yeah. I was going to switch my hair out. Hey there. In a mood for a change of style? Great. Come on inside. But like it was very compelling going out and collecting these monsters. And they were almost always were like puzzles or bosses that you'd have to take down. And then they'd come rejoin the town and expand it in some way. And the idea of, like, that would have been really cool if we had more of that. Oh, you have to click on them to, yeah. to look at them. Shorn, middle part, side part, curled. I don't think we had curled. No, that that's a new one. I don't like it as much, though. Oh, oh. do they have new hair colors? Yeah. Blue, I crimson. think we didn't have blue, crimson, or peach pink. What's peach pink look like? That. Oh, no, it's a little bit brown. I like crimson. I mean, it would kind of go with our outfit, yeah. I still like the white, though, but... It's a little bright. I don't know. What do you want? Red, mm. white. Um, I mean, it might be okay to try the red for a while, but... Oh, oh those are eyebrow colors. I just go back. Can I just back out of this? I hate the fact that they take our money before they... Oh, before they even... Yeah, that was what it was like in the DS game, too. I mean, it's only 500. It's nothing. I don't know. We'll stick with the white. And you still like the ponytail? Yeah. 
<laughs> she, she does nothing at all. Literally nothing. <laughs> just trimmed a little bit off the ends, just to keep the dead ends away. Well, I'm a little disappointed. I might honestly look up hairstyles before I come back to the hairdresser. Mm. Keep polishing your skills. But you didn't do anything. <laughs> what yeah, is I find that when I play games where you can choose the hairstyle and the appearance of your character, oh. I find that I tend to choose hairstyles where there's ponytails and stuff because usually it doesn't clip through your gear. Mm. Mm -hmm. it, it always stays away from it. Because unfortunately, when you have long hair in many video games... It clips through armor or clothing it, and it looks kind of silly. It clips through your shoulder if you happen to have your character turn their head. You know, things like that. I want to say there's a meme of... Uh, is it Phantom Rose or whatever from uh, Sailor Moon? Mm. Or... No, it's not Phantom Rose. Whatever his name is. Oh, oh, do you mean Tuxedo Mask? Tuxedo Mask. There we go. He's like, my work here is done. And somebody's like, but you didn't do anything. And then he just <laughs> fades away with like a proud expression on his face. That's what she just did to us. Mm -hmm. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I'll let you know in advance, there are no Pokemon Nobles in the Co Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We killed Nate the other one. We did have a Lord of the Coastlands. Until a few years ago, a tragedy took him from us. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the Lord used to call his home. Mm. We've also received word from both the Security Corps and the Supply Corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost without gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. Wait, so will there be a coastal Pokemon that has become a ghost after they've died? Ghostal Pokemon. A ghostal? Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. <laughs> These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this desecration of our late lord's seat. Normally I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. The Lord of oh, this island. I'll beat you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to have dropped into. I'm sorry, hero. Think nothing of it. Hero's a talented and hard-working member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he'll sort things out. Indeed. Hero Quell, the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I didn't make a mistake on my last upload for today. I was like, oh yeah, sudden panic. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It's farther afield in the Crimson Mirelands, and much farther. And the path- wait, hey! Oh, sorry. I didn't even get to read the last bit. Uh, you you did a long pause like you were waiting for me to continue, and I was like, all right, well, instincts kicked in. Well, it had a dash, in. Yeah, so sorry. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission, investigate Fire Spit Island. It's called Fire Spit Island? Okay. Uh, do we have a quest upstairs? I... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Hmm? Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is a reasonable episode length. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna end this one off here. Then we're gonna go pick up the side quests. We're not gonna do them, but I'll le at least have the dialogue. Because I think I want to keep the side quests together as like... I don't want to say a separate episode, but at least so there's kind of a continuity. So it's not like us picking up the side quest and then finishing them like three episodes later. If that makes mm -hmm. sense. I don't there, see any quest There's not quest any in here. in here except for the one that we just picked up from the board, which like doesn't matter too much. Uh, but there's mm -hmm. like seven outside. Ah. Actually, I mean, I don't know. We could also just ignore them because almost all of them are just requests of like, go talk to these people or do this thing. Uh, no, we should pick them up. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, well, one way or another, we'll see you guys in the next episode of uh, Pokemon <laughs> uh, Legends Arceus. Oh my gosh, this kid can spin. Uh, as always, thanks for, thanks for spinning. <laughs> he just starts throwing out the plant.